Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my rewind plan with me and this is just a look back at my last one. I used the Shop Jessica Hearts Rain on the Books kit and I thought it turned out really really pretty. Um, it was the first time that I did an all rose gold foiled spread um, and I thought I tur it turned out really cute. So let's move into this week here which was the week of the 8th through the 14th. I'm going to be using this GL Designs kit, GL Designs group kit. Um, this is on her glossy paper which I don't think it's that I've used a kit on her glossy paper. I do know that I much prefer her matte paper, um, but when I first placed an order with her, I got both types of paper to find out which one my, was my favorite. So this is just her regular kit format. It's four sheets, um, and so it does come with glitter headers, date cover-ups, and some bottom washi, and the full boxes, obviously. And then I do have all of these washies pulled out from Simply Gilded, so I'm going to use one of those along the bottom as well. I'm going with... Um, a mix of rose gold foil and gold foil um, just because I really wanted to use this more like pinky foil um, in there but I'm gonna go ahead put everything down first and then I'll be back um, to plan out this best week with you guys guys let's move over to the side here um i think i'm going to use the rock salt lamp over here um i don't know what i'll do with that extra full box we'll have to see if there's room anywhere um but i'm gonna put this here this kit is so pretty i love how light and airy all the colors are and the full boxes um let's see here where is the habit tracker here it is so i'm gonna put this up top and I think I'm going to do some of these like little bows in between. Um, so far I'm leaning more towards like the rose gold, but as we go throughout the week I'm going to pu pull in more of the yellow gold. Um, let's do this, let's do white first. And put this in, like so. This week was pretty simple, I got a lot done this week. Um, so much so that today's been kind of a bummer. <laughs> it's Sunday, um, and I didn't really have anything planned, but I kind of had, like, hopes of plans um, that didn't really work out, and I have to say, like, this sounds really bad, but I haven't been bored in a long time, um, and normally people would be excited to be bored, especially after being so busy, um, and I've been really, really trying to get a lot of, like, schoolwork done, projects, papers, all that stuff, just because I'm, like, really excited to be done, um, but I don't know. It's, like, weirdly difficult to be done. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making sense at all. I'm I don't even know that I'm articulating what I want to articulate, but, like, if you've ever been in school, um, I wonder if this is, like, a common thing or if this is just a Chloe thing. It's not so much that I'm, like, missing school or having things to do. Like, I definitely don't miss that. I think it's, like, the uncertainty of, like, am I missing something? Like, am I supposed to be doing something right now? But I feel like 
that doesn't that's not just a school thing I feel like if you work you could feel the same thing of like okay I'm usually really busy so why am I not that busy right now um so yeah anywho um I'm gonna put down these two headers for my trackers this week I'm gonna put this week first for um tracking dinners this is I have to line it up on the other side so that it's all straight. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to use this one that has the dates on it. Um, this kit is really light, so you can't really tell, but there are the dates of the week listed there. Um, and then I'm going to cut this one. I find that it's a lot easier to rip the tiny um, Simply Gilded washi with a ruler than like the bigger ones. Um, but... Especially when it's in a spread, I still like using my slice tool just to be on the safe side. Um, so we'll put that in, and then underneath this one, I think I'm going to do the pink. Um, and put that in. I don't remember which what kit. I think it was the um, Sakura. Is that how you say it? I'm probably butchering the name of it, but the Sakura, like cherry blossom... Um, Simply Gilded Mystery Box. Um, I think that these little 5mm washies came with. Um, but they're really pretty. That was a total mess of white out there. But we'll put this pink one in, and I really was happy that I was able to use that gem bottom washi, because, um, I feel like I don't get to use those a lot. Those were some of the first washies that I got. I remember I got them for Christmas, um, but they were like the first ones from Simply Gilded that I ever received. Um, so that's fun. Although they were from a batch where like half of the washies didn't have sticky on the back or adhesive on the back, which is kind of a bummer, but um, I did get shop credit when I finally realized it and contacted her. Um, so it's all good. And if I want to use the ones that don't have the adhesive on the back, I can just... Um, What's it called? Put some like double-sided tape on it or like a tape runner or something like that. Um, so there is that. And then I think I'm gonna like close off the bottom with this, speaking of the Sakura washi, with this washi from that box as well. Um, I thought that it matched this full box really well. Um, so we're just gonna do that. And I also love using tweezers to put down washi. I think it's like the best trick there is um, so that your finger isn't in the way because I feel like when you try and put it down with your finger um, like when you go to remove your finger is when it goes wrong. Um, so I'm just gonna slice this here. There is some deco in the kit so when I give my- why can I not do this today? What the- Okay, there we go. Um, when I give my camera a break, I'm going to put in the deco up at the top. It's not a ton. It's just a little bit. Um, so I'll do that. And I have a weekend banner to put in. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll be back. And we'll actually go over what happened this past week. All right, guys. So let's get into this here. Um, the first thing on Monday, I had class. So I'm going to use these dinos this week from Scribble Prints Co. Um, and I think... There's not a whole lot of boxes in this kit, um, so I'm going to be supplementing with some boxes that I have um, elsewhere. But I only had four days of class, so I'm thinking of using these labels, um, which are more like washi strips, but in the other kit that I used from her, they were actual labels. Um, so I'm going to use those for class this week um, and put them up at the top here. Um, so I just had regular class on Monday, um, so we'll do that with this one. Um, I've been hoarding these class stickers for so long because I think they're so cute, but I'm not going to have a reason to use them soon, so I have to use them while I can. And then um, I went and had lunch with my friend at Denny's, and this day... Oh, this day I had, like, an egg sandwich, which was really good. Um, so I'm going to... Actually, let's take these off, because I know that I'll need them. Um, and I'm just going to put this in over here for Denny's. 
And then I had to go get my shots. So for shots this week, I'm going to use these Scribble Prince Girls and put that down here. And that'll be the first half of Monday. And then I had work. So for work this week, I'm going to be using these like little Scribbler Girls. Again, I'm trying to use up my like babysitting related work stickers just because when I leave school, um, I'm going to be leaving that job, so I'm not going to need babysitting stickers. Um, so yeah. And for work this week, what do I want to use? I feel like using a specific label would be a good idea. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to do flags for when I had shots, because I have two of them. So I feel like that'll, that'll look good. Also, it's been stressful, so my nails are a train wreck right now, and I do apologize. Um, but it also makes picking up stickers difficult. <laughs> so, there's that. And then, um, back to figuring out what to use to mark work. Um, let's see. I do have a few, like, things pulled out from older kits. Um... Let's do these Scribble Prints labels. I have this like pink purpley one. And then we have like this lighter one. And oh, that's a newer sheet, so it doesn't have the little labels. Um this pink works as well. Okay, so those will be for work. And I'm gonna put this one on Monday. And I just worked a regular day this day, 2.30 to 6.30. So we'll put that in. And then I just read a lot this day. I haven't had a lot of time to read lately, so it was really nice to be able to um, get some free reading done. <laughs> um, it sounds funny to say that because we used to be forced to free read in middle school, and I remember loving it so much, but all of my friends hated it. Um, so it was one of those things where it was like, I don't want to say that I really love this time, like, dedicated in school to just be able to read whatever I want, but I really love this time. <laughs> so, um, this is a flat lay from Toffee Bananas, and even though I wasn't wearing bunny slippers, I thought it was a good way to mark just a big chunk of reading time. And so I'm going to put in, I guess we'll use that, but washi in between this, like, really pretty rose gold pink um washi this rose gold or pink washi is really close to the rose gold from scribble prince co um so i like that she did one of these like reverse bows um because when i do a week with just scribble prints rose gold foiling it'll be really easy to match all that up um, so that is Monday, pretty simple. Um, moving on to Tuesday over here, I had class again, so we'll do another little situation like this. Tuesday was um, a little bit different because technically my first class was canceled, but we had um, practice for our presentation, so I went and did that. Um, and I had to pick up our paper, which was okay. We got like points our content was 100%, which was really nice to hear. Um, and then we got points off for like little grammar mistakes, which is like understandable, but also annoying that the way this professor does it, it just, it's, it's a lot. Anyways, um, so for Tuesday, I'm gonna use one of these um, Clever Girl Crafts flags. These are the Sophie Pink colorway with gold foiling. And I'm just gonna put it on the side because this day was the first day that it went up into like, I don't think it was recorded in the 90s. I think it was recorded in the high 80s. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to use this one time in a million sticker and it says, um, like the sun is saying I'm out and the little dumpling is saying I, OMG, I missed you. Um, which at the time I didn't really miss the sun because I was really, really hot. <laughs> um, because like 
it's been so cold that adapting back to the hot weather is very difficult but <laughs> I did I know that I'm going to appreciate this going forward um, so then while I was waiting for my next class I have a little YouTube binge in my car so I'm gonna use some of these magic Prince Co stickers and I'm just gonna put this on top of what do I want to put this on top of um, I think I'm gonna do this label here it's kind of like taupish brown but I feel like it matches some of like the darker colors in there I don't know it's a neutral color it works so we'll just do that that's really pretty um and then I had my appointment um so I have these scribble prints alarm stickers and I'm gonna use the pink one and what do I want to put this on I feel like I should put it on something but I guess not so I'm just gonna put that there and then the only other thing that I had to mark was that I had a headache um, which was really annoying because it was so hot all of the flowers decided to bloom which I'm very offended by I really think that that should stop <laughs> um, but I was actually talking to Ilza who I did the collab with and we were talking about how like the shots even though they're a huge pain in the butt not literally but like you know what I mean um it's worth it because I know if I wasn't on the shots I probably would have been, ended up in the hospital um but I did order a face mask this day like specifically for pollination allergies um because I have developed like this really wonderful cough um and I'm not sick it's literally just from allergies but it's kind of worrisome because like it means I'm having trouble breathing. So I need to I need to watch that situation carefully. So I'm gonna put in some of this washi tape, which was the smaller washi um, from the Sakura. Is that how you say it? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Um, I'm very sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm like the queen of mispronouncing things. Um, so I'm gonna put that there. And I have these Monster Migraine stickers from Fox and Cactus, which reminds me that I really want to place a bigger order from her just to get some stuff because I've seen some real cute things come out. Um, but I also need to be good. I think it's because I'm feeling down. Did, does anyone do that? Like you feel down and so you do like you want to do retail therapy? Like it's really unhealthy. I need to fix that. Anyways, so that was Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday I had class again. So we'll put this in, and then this day I went and had a sushi date after class, which was really nice. I love sushi dates. They're the best. Um, so for that, I have another Magic Prince Co. foiled sticker, and I'm just going to put that in like so. And what happened after? Oh, I said something really stupid. Like... Do you ever do that and like the moment the words come out of your mouth, you're like, why did I say that? Why, 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 why? So to mark that just instance of like creating havoc in all aspects of my life that I didn't need um, and just, you know, putting my foot in my mouth. It's just one of those things where it's like, I don't know. I go back and forth because I'm glad that I said something because it had to do with like what I was thinking and feeling. So, uh I'm glad that I did that, but at the same time, I could have avoided so much if I just didn't say anything, so that's that's where I'm at with that. But anyways, to mark that, I think I'm going to use one of these little appointment box boxes down here, and then I'll put some washi in between um, just to mark that whole debacle, which was no fun, but I feel like we've all been there, done that. Um, I'm going to use this bow washi haven't used it yet but it's like this teal mint color with gold bows um, in there so yeah thankfully I didn't have like big repercussions like I thought it would I thought like the moment I said it it was going to turn into like this big blown out fight and like this just huge thing but thankfully it didn't and I watched a bunch of dog videos so I started to feel better and that's good Anyways, then I went and got my shots done, which is always so exciting. Highly recommend having an anxiety-inducing experience and then going and getting stabbed with three different needles. Um, <laughs> so that was my day on Wednesday. Um, and then I had work. Yes, I had work. So I'm going to use 
this label here to mark that and then when I got home from work I had even more work to do because um, I've gotten a lot of stuff passed on to me from the previous director for the summer camp now I am like in an actual position before I was just like a senior intern so basically I did a bunch of stuff without having the title or the salary <laughs> but now I have the title and the salary which is really nice um, so I'm a little bit more motivated to do things which is you know good for everyone including me um, but when I got home I had to like develop some stuff and type up some things so I have this little laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co and that is the first half of the week and then moving on to Thursday um, I had a bill due so I thought I would mark that just because not a whole lot happened this week I think it's pretty obvious um, so I'm gonna put this in up here this was my glam planner bill and then um, I actually gave my presentation which oh my gosh I was so appalled at my professor when I was giving this presentation he interrupted us six times six times and I was upset because it wasn't like you know interjecting to like correct information like it was just for no apparent reason like just stopping like one of the things that he stopped us for was he said that our slides had too many words on them and I was like you couldn't have just written that on a grade sheet and like moved on with your life there's also a gnat flying around I'm sorry I'm easily distracted right now um so I was just so upset and it like because it wasn't on my slides but it was on one of my teammates slides and so it like threw him off guard and then he didn't know where to pick up and he was all flustered and I felt bad because I didn't want to like interrupt him to tell him that everything was okay and oh my gosh and then he proceeded to yell at the whole class when we were asking questions because he referred to our group at, or the person asking the questions referred to our group as you guys and the professor like interrupted them and was like half of this team is female so why don't you just say your team or your firm and I was like I don't really care like we're in California I mean come on like, dude is a normal word in a sentence. So, yeah. Thankfully, I think it went okay, despite his rude interruptions that I literally could have yelled at him for. Um, also, he proceeded after that you guys comment to say that we were having quiet time, and I just felt very belittled and, like... <laughs> I don't know. If you want me to act like an adult, don't treat me like a child, is my point. So, that's my my spiel on that. I just, I really don't have it in me to deal with people like that. And so, I'm glad that I'm almost done with him. Because I feel like it's just rude. <laughs> like, it's not even, like, it's not even an authority thing. Like, it's just being a rude human being. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, so then, while I was in my car after that whole thing I was sending out some emails because I had to contact people and I'm trying to like get stuff done which is very difficult might I add when like I I don't know I'm not a parent so like I don't realize these things but like some people oh my gosh that is a weird looking bug I hated that oh my gosh I don't know if the camera got that um anyways I don't know where it went now sorry like I said I'm easily distracted I didn't realize how quickly I mean I I guess I did realize but like parents plan summer camps for their children so early and <laughs> like it would have been nice to get some of this information when people were planning these things anyways so while I was in my car after I sent out those emails I did some homework um, on like some note taking stuff um, so I have this script from Scribble Prince Co and then I'm gonna use this like post-it and highlighter sticker from Stella Bow like I said multiple times I just need to use up these <laughs> stickers for school so I'm marking when I do homework all the time um because I don't know I feel like I don't want my stickers to go to a waste I'm not gonna throw them away like I would give them away to someone who could use them but at the same time like I want to use them because I think these stickers are so pretty and so fun um so yeah anyways we'll put that in there now I'm all paranoid that that bug is a mosquito I don't even know that we have mosquitoes, but like, mosquitoes scare me. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> um, okay, so homework, and then this is where I'm gonna mark class because I actually only had one class. I technically taught a class in the morning because we had to present for the whole, like, class period. It was 
crazy. <laughs> Our presentation was like 45 minutes long and then we had like a Q&A so we were standing up there the whole time which was a lot. Anyways, um, so class and then I went and had Stonefire Grill um, which was so good. I don't know if it's anywhere else but like if you can go to a Stonefire Grill please go um, but also be prepared that like the small size is the size that like two people could share and be full on. So don't get in over your head because I always do. Anyways, I'm gonna use these little like cheese and pasta date wishy-washy paper co food stickers because I think they're really cute. Um, and we just had pasta, so there's that. And then lastly, I had another headache this night, which was a big old bummer, but you know, what else? What else can I do? And then the thing is, is that like, because I get migraines, I never know if it's a migraine just because it's a migraine or if it's allergies. So then I don't know if I should take a Benadryl or if I should take Advil or like, I don't know what to do. Technically I could take both, but like, I don't want to if I don't need to. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that was that. And then Friday I had to develop an Instagram account. <laughs> so that was the thing. Um, and it was kind of funny because like I don't tell a lot of people about my planner stuff just because I'm real scared of judgment like let's be honest it's just one thing that I'm terrified of I feel like a lot of people are <laughs> but um, if I can avoid that scenario I definitely will I'll avoid it like the plague and um, so I like my boss asked me like oh are you good with social media and I didn't want to be like yeah definitely but I also didn't want to like because then I felt like I would have to reveal why so I was just like oh yeah I th you know I think I could I think I could do it and then I like developed this whole Instagram and like Facebook and all this stuff so I felt very accomplished by what I did um but it was just funny because I was like trying not to say why I felt like I could handle all of this um and then I pre-planned so this is a sticker from JB Planning who is no longer a shop but so pretty and I thought it matched the feel of this spread perfectly so there's that and then I had breakfast and coffee in bed um and I had avocado toast and like my favorite thing to make for myself that's pretty simple and easy when I'm at home um is what's it called? Avocado toast um, with Tabasco on top, salt and pepper and Tabasco, and then um, an apple um, with peanut butter on it for some protein. Um, and then I'll just have coffee. So that's what I had this day, which was very nice and exciting. Um, and then what did I do? Oh, I went to Target, which love me some Target. So <laughs> I have these little munchkins to mark that. And I got a denim jacket, which was very nice. Um, my camera's gonna turn off in a second. Okay, so then after Target, I went to work. Um, and I only had to work until 5.30, which was real nice. So we'll put that in with this last little sticker. Um, and then after work, um, I, or actually at work, I finished the book that I was reading, which was Let's Pretend This Never Happened, um, which I really, re really recommend that book. I think it was very well written, and as someone with anxiety, um, it was nice to hear. I don't know, the book is not, like, about anxiety, but it's, like, a, it's a memoir about per uh, someone with anxiety, um, and so, I don't know, it was kind of, like, weirdly comforting to hear about how someone else deals with all these like craziness and like all the incidences that happen that you have to kind of combat when you have anxiety so um and she does it in a very humorous way and um even though she does talk about some topics that are a bit more difficult um I think that it was a fun read and it was so good that like there's some like bonus chapters and stuff at the end that usually I would like skip over if I wasn't that into, um, but I really did like it. So I read those as well and I do recommend reading them. Um, so yeah, it's by Jenny Lawson. Yeah, 
if you guys are interested. She has a few other books too um, that I would recommend. Um, so yeah, that was Friday. And then Saturday, I had another bill due. I had my Crest Press bill due, which she's been having trouble with her um, April mystery kit going out. So I'm still waiting for mine and I'm excited to see what it is. Um, but it's stuff that's like beyond her control. So she's working on that. Um, and then this day I started The Almost Moon, which is by the same author that wrote The Lovely Bones. Um, and this book is like, I'm, I've only read one chapter, so I can't say much, um, about it, but it's like, it's from the eyes of someone who kills someone, and in this case it's her mother. And I say that because, you know, it's like revealed in the first page of the book, so it's not like a spoiler. Um, but I think it's really... I don't know, I think it'll be an interesting read because it's not a place that books are usually written from. Like, usually it's written from someone who's, like, connected to the person who dies and it's, like, them finding the murder, murderer, but this book is, like, the murder happens within the first page and you know who did it, so I'm really wondering where she's gonna take that. So, The Almost Moon. And then, um, I spent a lot of time filming, editing, and uploading this day, so I'm gonna put in here these little munchkins, um with the camera and then I think I'm just going to do the film strip um, and not do the laptop and um, I've also been Netflix binging um, The Office which this is the last one on the sheet which is very satisfying so I'm going to put that in there because while I was doing all of this I was watching The Office and what else? Oh, then I went to work. Um, I babysat last night. Um, so we'll put that in there. And then while I was there, I did some homework. So I'm going to put in another one of those foiled laptop stickers and mark that. I finished my last chapter of reading for my classes, which is very exciting because some of some of my classes I can get away with not reading the textbook, um, some of them I can't, so I've actually finished all of my textbook readings for the semester, which is very satisfying. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then moving on to today, which is Sunday, um, it is Francesca John's birthday, which is one of you guys, so I'm going to put that up at the top here with one of these little appointment labels to mark that. And then... Um, what else happened? Nothing really has happened this day. Um, so, um, I've just been binge watching more of The Office. Um, I'm now on season five towards the end. So, um, I'm not going to finish it today. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish it next week. It all depends on how my life goes. Um, but I'm going to put some bows in between here because there's not much to mark. <laughs> So we'll put this up here. Um, but it's kind of nice though because I've almost used every single washi that I pulled out, which is very satisfying when I do that. Um, so we'll put this in. I really would prefer that I do that in every spread that I do just because I feel like when I pull washi, um, I get a very good like color palette going and it would be nice to use each one at least once. Um, but sometimes it's just not feasible. Um, at least this time I've used every color. Now I just have like the various different sizes. So there's that. Um, anyways, so for binge watching, since I finished that other sheet, I'm just going to use this icon that comes in the kit to mark that. And then it's just been a lazy day. So I'm going to take this lazy day sticker that is foiled and just put it in the center here. I actually think I'm going to use this other box. Should I put it down here? Yeah, I'll put it down here. And I'll use that to mark that it's kind of just been a blah day, which these are from the Ohana story. So I'm just going to center that. And then I'm just going to put lazy day like so. And that will be that. <laughs> um, so let me zoom you guys out here so that you can see everything. I am going to fill it all out with various black pens because the kit... And a lot of the boxes that I used are glossy, so the, this Sharpie pen writes the best on those. And then I have my Pilot G2 for all of the planner paper or any matte stickers that I use. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, here is the finished spread, and let me give you a bit of a wiggle there. I 
think it turned out really, really pretty. Let me show you what I have left of the kit. We have some date dots up top and then these two weekly or check boxes, however you want to use them. Um, and then we have some check flags, icons, and sidebar headers. We have an extra full box and three appointment labels. And then on this page, we have some header strips or washi strips, however you want to use them. They are cut to the size of a header, half of the bottom washi, and then these two smaller checklists. One, two, three, four, five. There's only six. I was going to say you could use them as weekly things, but there's just six of them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!